Hello, and thanks for joining me for a moment. I am Pastor Stephen, and I'd like to update you about the difficulties we had during worship this past Sunday and where we can go from here. The COVID-19 pandemic has altered all our lives in many ways, and one of those ways is when, how, and where we worship. Here at OCC, we've been trying our very best to make our worship services open and available for all, for all of our members, friends, and visitors. And since streaming our services on YouTube, we've had over 2,986 views of our services. And in the last 90 days, we've had 508 unique viewers of our services, and we've received thanks for streaming from people in Florida, Colorado, California, and Washington State. In the past three months, we're reaching between 100 and 176 people throughout each week. Even this past Sunday, we already have 93 views, and I will admit the technological issues made the service less than stellar. Yes, we did do a full sound and level check at our run-through on Sunday at 8.30 in the morning, but somehow between then and 10, all sound was lost between our board and the computer. I tell you all this so that we all know how important it is for us to continue to have an online streaming option that is open, not just to our members or the people who receive the bridge, but to all who wish to participate in worshiping God with us. I'm not sure of any recent 90-day stretch where the church has worshipped with 508 different people and averaged nearly 140 people per week, which if we added the 20 to 30 people worshipping with us live, means that we've been averaging over 150 in attendance, if not more if families are watching the stream together. Now we need to make sure that our video and audio capabilities can handle our services well and can be expanded upon as needed in the future for any needs we might have as OCC's online worshipful presence grows. And to do this, we need you. And we need you in a different way than we've relied on our church in the past. As of now, we have used temporary and normally free or very inexpensive fixes to our sound, video, and technology setups. I want to show you what we're working with. We have a soundboard that we received over 20 years ago after it was too old for another church. We use a handheld camera that was donated on a borrowed tripod with a donated HDMI to USB cable attached to a donated laptop. The sound comes out of the soundboard through an old instrument cable and into a borrowed USB audio interface and into the computer. We use a free open source streaming software to combine the audio and video and stream it directly to YouTube, a free service, all on the donated laptop. In the near future, we will also be adding in some pre-recorded videos that were done with borrowed lighting equipment and a borrowed Mac with a licensed copy of Final Cut Pro video editing software. Everything we've been using has come at no direct cost to the church. This is not working anymore. We cannot rely on a patchwork of old and new, borrowed and donated. We have to invest in good audio video technology that will meet our current demands, enhance our worship experience, and be adaptable for our future. We had a company come in and clean up our sound as best as possible with what we have, and they told us that what we're currently doing is the best we can do with what we have. And we all know that the best we have now isn't good enough. And so the worship planning group, the faith formation planning group, and the technology team have all been discussing ways to improve our audio video technology. And we've established communication with some companies that specialize in this. One of these companies in particular that we've spoken to specializes in doing sound, video, and streaming for churches. But for us to move forward with any option, we need to see a financial commitment from the congregation. We do not currently have a number for how much this will cost as we are still collecting quotes. However, I feel that after Sunday's technological debacle, now is a good time to communicate with all of you how sorry I am for how Sunday went and now I hope we can all step up and give for a better, more permanent solution. Now, in a perfect world, we could get each of those 508 unique viewers to give $50 toward our audio video technology upgrades, and we'd be heading down a great path of improved quality that will no longer hinder our ability to worship. And my hope is that whatever system we ultimately set up, that it be so seamless we no longer discuss the sound, video, or programming quality 
Christians. Instead, we will all be able to say that my relationship with God grew today with my friends and family at OCC. So please consider giving. And to give, you can mail in your check to the church with it marked for the audio video technology upgrades, or you can go to our website and click donate now and click on the audio video technology upgrades section to give online. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach me at the church or through email at pastor at olmsteadchurch.org. Have a great day and God bless.